Google Analytics provides lots of information about your website's traffic sources like direct, organic search, paid search, referral, and social, but direct traffic can be a mystery. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the direct traffic mystery and reduce the amount of false direct traffic that you're seeing in your reports. Unfortunately, Google Analytics can't always identify the source of your website's traffic, so it categorizes it as direct. Now that can happen when a user visits your site by typing or pasting in your URL in the search bar, clicking on a bookmark, or using a link that Google Analytics can't track. For example, it can happen when visitors click on links to offline documents like PDFs, Word files, or they're coming from untrackable sources like Facebook Messenger and other platforms. So this can also happen with referrals from HTTPS to HTTP. To see your direct traffic in Google Analytics 4, just head over to Reports and then to Acquisition and then go to Traffic Acquisition. To see the pages your direct traffic landed on, you've got to go to Engagement, then click on Pages and Screens. Now when you get there, click the Add Comparison button at the top of the screen. Now using the drop-down in the panel on the right, just search for and select Session Source. Then in the Dimensions Values drop-down, check the box next to Direct, and then click OK, and then apply. Next, hover your mouse over the blue A at the top and click the X to remove all users from your report. Now scroll down to the table and you'll see just the pages your direct traffic visited. To see their direct traffic landing pages instead of all the pages, scroll over to the Event Count column and now click the All Events drop down underneath it and search for and select First Visit. Then click the Event Count column to sort your pages by landing page views. Now you have a list of the pages your direct visitors are landing on. You want to use this list to determine why visitors might be landing directly on those pages, and then you can see if you can better categorize that traffic. Now the best way to fix that direct traffic mystery is to use campaign variables like UTM codes in your links, and that way your traffic will be categorized correctly so you can optimize your site. With the Monster Insights URL Builder, you can reduce the direct traffic that you see in your reports and get more accurate results. The Monster Insights URL Builder tool allows you to add a snippet of code to the end of your regular URL so that Google Analytics can track traffic from the link clicks to the correct channel. This ensures that your marketing campaigns are being tracked accurately. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics to view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and a whole lot more. For more on using campaign URLs, read A Beginner's Guide to UTM Parameters and How to Use Them. I'll leave a link in the description. Now you know how to solve the mystery of direct traffic in Google Analytics and fix it. Remember to check out all the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.